Welcome back to Bit Size. Today we have a fairly interesting conversation ahead of us uh, with the release of a beautiful video game that you know, the many, title. many people will probably have heard of. Many may have not, as you know, Nerd Avenue right here. But <laughs> yeah, this is uh, one Elden of those Ring. episodes. Elden Ring has been released, and we wanted to have a little conversation on should video games be viewed as art? Yeah, so uh, many of you who are not as well geeky as we, uh, because this is one of those episodes. This, this is the episode where, where we rant a little. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, but hey, those episodes perform well, so, so, here, we <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> so uh, I think my take is that they should be considered art. It's just that e even with their uh, mainstream appeal, with video games being bigger than movies and music combined. Uh, I'm not saying that just because, uh, <laughs> because I play video games. Like it's a fact. Like video games generate way more revenue than both movies and music. I don't know about yeah, music. Gaming coming soon. I don't know about music. So fact fact check me on that. But definitely movies. Like yeah, they rake up yeah. way more money. I mean. It's, in a, in a sense, a video game, in my opinion, is... Well, I agree, it is an art form. And it's, to me, like an interactive movie in some way. I mean, obviously, when you have... There's different types of video games, but, you know, for example, something like Elden Ring is many hours and many hours. Many hours. It's, it's an experience of you exploring a whole world. And, you know, it's basically like seeing everything on screen but you're the one who's moving through like throughout it yeah i mean there, there's definitely more video games that are closer to interactive movies like uh, any telltale game is basically just a movie and you decide what's happening but you are aren't actually uh yeah. controlling and stuff but people are into that not me uh, i i rather <laughs> control it but and it's that main difference, I'll say, that movies are just, like, they're purely the artist's perspective mm. forced onto you. I'm not saying that that's bad, but it's just limited it's just, to one yeah. experience. Uh, for But in video games, for example, when we play Elden Ring, uh, like, even if it's the, the exact same world with the exact same possibilities, it changes so drastically. I mean, for, for example, one of the most memorable experiences I've had so far is when I was starting to play and I almost finished the entire map. Like I was almost done with the entirety of it. And I was like, oh, well, the map's kind of small. <laughs> uh, but OK, uh, I'm, I'm a fan of it. It's just uh -huh. and then I opened a random treasure chest that are called tri uh, trap treasure chest i didn't know that there were, it looked like a normal tre treasure chest to me and uh -huh. it teleported me to the other end of the map <laughs> and the the fucking scope of it like yeah. because the game doesn't allow you to to see the entirety of the map like yeah, when you, you start to it. unlock uh, the parts of the map like it only fills out the parts that you know and the rest of it like it doesn't even allow you to see uh what you don't know so it's like this yeah. small box uh but then i got teleported to the other end of it and because the the map had to rearrange my 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 place in in the world uh, it allowed me to to see just how fucking big it is yeah and, yeah. and oh my god I mean, that's that's the thing, right? It, it's basically, it's a way of entering a fictional universe and exploring it to a minute detail. Well, when it's done correctly, of course. Uh, which is why a lot of the times, like Batman or Superman, Spider-Man, all, all these big, you know, hero figures and fictional characters, they end up trying to make video games yeah. around it. I mean, because uh, firstly, it's a fucking huge market. Oh, 
yeah. and like bringing bringing in those very well known IPs is like fundamental. Uh -huh. Like like so obvious, right? Like why make a movie when we can make a multi billion dollar IP in video games and rake up like two hundred percent profit. Uh -huh. But in addition to that, you can tell a, a new story that's never been told. And yeah. there's even, like, even in story based games where the story is exactly the same, no matter uh, what, you what you do. Like, your connection, if done correctly, your connection yeah. to the main character is much deeper. Since, well, you, you're going through everything <laughs> that the main character is doing. Like, yeah. you're. It's not like you're forcing the character to do something. It's that like you are the character, and yeah. it's just like amazing. There, there are some other video games that truly transcend storytelling, uh, like Outer Wilds, best game ever made in my opinion. <laughs> not, not even joking. Like it's, it's my top one video game. So if any of you ever find Werther, just mention that to him and i'll go like on, on a 40 minute talk <laughs> monologue of how fucking good that game is like the whole gist of it is that you don't know jack shit and you're in a solar system yeah and the the sun explodes every 20 minutes okay. and you're stuck in a time loop and you have to figure out how to stop the the fucking sun from exploding uh, the trick is like th there's no upgrades there's no leveling up yeah. like the, the only progress you make is with your knowledge of the world around you so if you visit like every planet and find this like ancient tombs of uh, the other extinct civilizations yeah. and try to piece a massive puzzle together that's basically it like a giant puzzle that you have to piece together that it's told purely through the environment like it's, it's not like a character comes up to you and goes full on exposition yeah like you you have to piece it together and, and, and that's it's, it's, that's it's something that fucking... they can do like video games is it's not only immersive but it's making you think and solve and mm -hmm. realize like okay well you know how do I get to this? <laughs> How do I get mm -hmm. to achieve this throughout what I have? And, you know, games like those, there's obviously games for everyone and different types yeah. of games. And there's terrible games, of course. Like, not every video game <laughs> is a good piece of art, just like everything that is considered uh, a piece of art. And I wouldn't consider every video game art. Like, there, there's, there's a line there. Uh, and, yeah, like, with you're... art, everything is so subjective. Uh, but I'm like putting my, my hat in the ring and saying like, like first person shooters uh, I mean those are more of a competitive esport because I, I don't want to call it sport because it's not a sport it's an esport <laughs> uh, but those are not art like yeah. I don't does make you like feel it's like calling like football art yeah like, I mean I think I think that you know something like a first person shooter has art involved yes but like the, the, the art style and but everything soundtracks. isn't necessarily like mm -hmm. the whole thing might not necessarily be a piece of art because it's it's different it's different to telling a whole story <laughs> uh through that medium yeah so it's really depends on the perspective of who you ask but the the, there's so many pieces of art combined into a single form that it would be a disservice not calling it art. Yeah. Like yeah. we are just listening to some soundtracks from Elden Ring, like blows your mind. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking amazing. Like it's just what yeah. else can I say? It's beautiful. <laughs> like go yeah. go out and play Elden Ring. It's fucking amazing. And if you haven't already. Uh, some other example, for example, like. Uh, the other day I was just looking at like the, the process behind making Cuphead another super oh, indie yeah. game, super indie game. And, and that game is another piece of art I mean from the artwork from the design from the creative nature of how to build it and the music which is all original it's like 
mind blowing the amount of effort and passion that goes into it. Yeah, for, for the ones who are not as uh, involved in the mainstream video game scene, uh, basically it's a video game done uh, with hand animation. Oof. Like every single frame is drawn instead of rendered, like yeah. most video games. And it gives it like such an amazing feel, like cartoony. 1980s feel it's it's amazing haven't started it though i, I have it <laughs> haven't started uh too busy with Elden ring i guess yeah i, I finished it so that... oh wow <laughs> well, that's maybe. the difference between you and me <laughs> <laughs> uh well yeah uh video games as an art form Once let again, us know what you think please do uh, uh yeah tiktok youtube instagram you know zero there you go. Uh, uh, thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next episode. And beat you beat later. You later.